It's time for Vincent Tuck of Usio Energy. Welcome to Eco Summit. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. It's actually a great follow up because switching sites in the UK, which is where we're based, are a big deal. It, they are, account for 90% of the switching, and uh, building a great relationship with them is, is of crucial importance. I'm Vincent Tuck, I'm the founder of Usio. Usio is a new UK energy company. And this motto here, driving our energy, the, the future for our energy uh, for our children, is really what, as a team, we came up with when sitting together and thinking about why, why are we getting up, why are we building this venture. Um, so who are we? We're delivering gas and electricity to UK customers. Uh, it says we're live in June. We're actually live today. We've signed up sort of on our pre-alpha beta version 750 customers, uh, but our full public launch is in June. Um, at our core, we are a data science company, and I'll talk about that a bit more, uh, but that's how we deliver value to our customers. Um, our aim is 4% of the market by 2020, which is 1.5 million smart metered customers. We are currently privately funded. We're still open for a few angels, uh, but our Series A is by another year, and we're looking for 2 million. Now, as we said, let's start with the customer, um, because the customer in the UK is in a state of anxiety. On the one hand, their customer experience is awful. As so their bill doesn't work, they can't get through to their supplier, uh, their direct debit doesn't work. Second, they, so they feel ripped off, they want to do something more sustainable, more fair. But then what they hear, what they hear in the media, what they hear from friends is, well, actually, green isn't really green, uh, lower isn't really lower. Um, and so there's contradiction and confusing messages. So what does he do? Nothing. But that started to change. So thanks to switching sides and thanks to quite a hard push from the government, so they're helping us in this case, uh, switching has now reached a level of about 600,000 every month, uh, which is quite a substantial level. Now, I said at the start, we're a data science company. And why is that relevant? Look, in the UK and actually large parts of Europe, energy companies are still forced to buy a standard profile of energy. So it doesn't matter if you come home after seven, you work from home, we still have to buy this standard shape that's decades old. Now, we are going to be the first company in the UK that lets go of standard load profiles and, and settles people on their actual usage. It will only become mandatory in 2020, but we said, look, if you build a company to do this, which is quite complex, from day one, our IT systems, our analytics, a customer service, then we'll have a great window to actually be competitive going forward. Now, that is also, I think, what makes us different from other suppliers, because we all know there are quite a lot of new entrants in the UK. There's only 35 already in the last two years. So how do we compete? Um, it's got to be incredible customer service and experience. That, that is by far the, the number one issue for customers, even more so than money. The second for us is our machine-based learning capabilities. So we have a big data science team that works day and night on becoming the best in demand forecasting and understanding who you are on a daily basis. And the third is the one in the bottom. We have signed a partnership with a, a large trading house, uh, and they're basically allowing us to trade for these new profiles and be quite aggressive there. Um, what are the types of things we're going to deliver our customers? We have a bunch of different propositions. Uh, and we specifically said we're going to have different ones because from our research and all the work we've done in, in clinics with customers, um, there are different needs for different people. So first of all, the flex tracker, which essentially means we'll buy energy for you every day. For many customers, that is actually much cheaper than all these ideas of locking in your tariff, especially if you're somebody that's home after seven. Uh, you shouldn't be paying the peak prices. And so that's one we're doing. Another one we're doing is around uh, ultra transparent. So basically saying, look, we'll show you all the cost, the meter, the data aggregation, the grid fees, and we'll just charge you a fixed tariff per week. It's something that you'll probably know from in Holland, Easy Energy is doing that. We think we can do it a bit better and a bit cheaper, but that's one of the propositions. And finally, there's one, for example, around electric vehicle enthusiasts, people that drive electric cars. They are a dream customer for a supplier, but that also means today they're getting ripped off royally. So we're designing tariffs that specifically fit around them. Longer term, we are building towards a residential energy exchange. I'm a big believer in the ultimate peer-to-peer -peer reality of energy, but today to build scale, it's too soon. And so 
happy for you to join our journey. Uh, if you live in the UK, you can sign up as a customer today. Um, as I said, fundraising band of the year. And um, probably, hopefully, soon you'll see us somewhere on social media. Thank you. <laughs>